Welcome back everybody to Desert Likes, and today we're unboxing the Erika Kurimoto second act hentai figure. If you're a person of culture, then perhaps you've seen her in an episode or two that is out there. Really, it is rich content that should be enjoyed by all. But anyways, here's a quick spin of the box, and what we get is this pink and black theme with no windows to see the figure on the inside. Alright, you know what time it is. Next we have the figure and it's clear in her packaging and overall she comes with an okay amount of accessories but really Shizu Minaze came with way more. First off though I will say she does come with a postcard of Erika and that does look pretty nice. And then as well she comes with this cosplay magazine. There is no nudity in the booklet which is kind of a shame but if you're interested in a full flip through and a flip through of the Shizu Minaze booklet as well let me know in the comments below and I can see about posting that. Moving on to accessories, she only comes with four faces, which is the normal expression, surprise expression, enthused expression, and fearful expression. Shizu did come with six faces, including an ahigao face, so I do feel a bit disappointed here. Then as well, she does come with two sets of breasts, while Shizu came with three. And then lastly, she comes with five sets of hands, and that is equal to Shizu Minaze. Overall, I do feel like the accessories are lacking for this figure, but you could argue that the spear makes up for it. But then again, uh, who is really into collecting these figures for the weapon accessories? Then lastly, lastly, there is a boring black base, and that is also accompanied with a set of instructions. As for the paint and sculpt, I see no painting mistakes or molding issues. Her hair does look excellently detailed and the jewels are very cute to look at. I also like the pink jeweled outfit that she comes in and it is super lewd with the see-through top shirt. But I will point out though that the back portion of the outfit is a bit inhibited by the arm articulation. It's a solid plastic and I really feel like the shirt and the top of the collar should be a soft plastic. And then like I said earlier, here is a shot of the skirt, and I don't know why it's so stiff, but really the legs are super inhibited in terms of articulation. And then lastly we see she wears a pair of glossy, sparkly pink boots. Now of course we wouldn't be the degenerates that we are if we didn't take a look at her rack. So here is the first set with her see-through outfit, and that is nice and glossy. And then here is the second set with the outfit off, and damn she is busty. Now moving on down to the booty, she is pretty thick, but it doesn't look exactly right. I don't know how to explain it exactly, but the sculpt is kind of weird looking, but she is thick. Overall, that is leaving me with the idea that I'm not really digging how skinny this figure is, and how inhibited the articulation is, and how some of the uh, sculpting is a bit awkward. I think Shizu is the one who is really hitting it out of the park when you compare these two. As for range of motion, like I said before, the outfit does inhibit the arm and leg articulation, which is a big sad, as her ability to make lewd poses is greatly limited, and that is seriously why we decided to get these figures. What a shame. So there she is next to Figma Major. There she is next to Michael Myers by NECA. There she is next to Reika from Gantz. And lastly, there she is next to the one Force scale Ryoko, the bunny version. Alright, and so overall this figure is pretty alright. I think that the Shizu Minaze one takes the cake on which one is better. So if you could only choose one, I would definitely go with Shizu for sure. I will say though that I am still happy to have her in my collection as lewd articulated figures are quite scarce. So yeah, I'll give it my support. As for the next figure in line for second acts, I am very excited for the Asagi Igawa as she seems more consistent with the lewd and articulated theme as well as just... The hentai was great. Anyways, that is it for me. Please leave a like and subscribe. Comment your thoughts. Follow me in my figure collection as I do have more photos for this set on that page. And I'll see you guys next time.